I'm Scott Dancy I'm with Azuna. I'm here for our first inaugural episode of Small Business Spotlight with my good buddy Tony Tuber. I've known Tony technically since before he was born because I'm good friends with his parents. Um, Tony, at 17 years old, started T Squared Putters. And I'm going to let him tell you a little bit about why he started it and what T Squared Putters is. Yeah, so I started T Squared when I was 17. I'm currently 22 now. Um, so I've grown up in a family business. My dad has a surgical and dental manufacturing company, which we're actually in his building right now. Um, but we're in the putter section room, or the room that we kind of built up um, here where we make all the putters. So basically, I've been passionate about golf my entire life. and. Um, pretty much was hanging around the machine shop, getting to know the people that work here, what they do, what they specialize in, the materials that everything's made out of. And um, one day I, uh, I became good friends with one of my dad's employees. Um, we played golf together a lot. And he goes, you know, a lot of these golf clubs that we're playing with are actually made out of the same materials. So then pretty much from there, I just started, you know, thinking about what we can make and you know, my mind was just racing with a bunch of different ideas. And we came up with an idea to make a putter, but at the time my dad didn't want to spend the time to make the putters or um, take time away from his engineers to develop a new product. So I kind of met with the engineer myself, um, stepped out and started learning how to actually make the putters. And we came up with a prototype out of some sign foam actually and I showed it around and everyone said you know this looks really cool and then eventually my dad actually surprised me one day with a real prototype of our TS713 which was our first putter awesome. and a ton of people liked them I made about a dozen of them and just handed them out to family and friends turns out they were actually really good and just started making them and then I got the idea that I could actually make this a business and that was about my junior year in high school so then just started going through the whole process of starting a business. I wrote a business plan, which looking back on it was completely awful. And I had no and idea what I was doing. The first one never yeah, no, not, not Never worry good. about the how. So, but it was a great learning experience. My dad and I went to the PJ Merchandise Show just to see the competition, see what the industry was all about. And we learned a ton about what industry we were getting into. And um, from there we built a website and now I'm in my senior year at University of Tennessee, so through college we've been building our e-commerce site, um, you know, through online sales, and then we do a ton of green grass stuff locally and regionally, Rochester, Syracuse, down in Pennsylvania, in Ohio, we do a ton of demo days over the summer, my brother and I, and um, now we do, we do a ton of fittings out of tees and taps up front, which I'll get into a bit later, so we have 10 different putter models now and overall it's go it's going really well that's awesome it's always cool to know the story behind everything started nothing ever starts and finishes the way you planned it like you said your first business plan was crap right, right. our first business plan has nothing to do with what we Absolutely, do now yeah. so it's always cool to see the evolution so would you mind uh would you and mikey uh mind giving us a little tour of how you guys make everything? Sure, absolutely. Yeah, and I mean, we've pivoted a bunch of times um, throughout the years of with the putters. You know, when I first started, I had an idea of what exactly what we were gonna do, and it's changed like five different times since then, and it's gonna change at the start of 2024 as well. So, you know, you always gotta keep changing and evolving in order to improve as a business, for sure, so. 1,000%. Well, let's go see the back. All right. All right. So in every good partnership, there's always a good brother involved. This is Mike Tuber, uh, Tony's brother, who's also uh, at University of Tennessee. Two years, one year younger. Uh, junior, one year. Yeah, junior at University of Tennessee, and he, he helps around with everything. So I'm gonna step aside for a second and let these guys tell you about how the putters are made. So every putter that you see here, uh, these are raw blanks. They all started in a single block of steel. I don't have one on me right now, but you can imagine it's a little wider. Um, it's a little wider than that. So every putter has two operations that go in the machine. So we can actually run two ops at a time on this machine. Um, so if this putter goes in, blocks going like that, you mill around the top side. And then after the op is over, you mill around the back side. Um, you get your two operations. This here is our 713i. So this is right off the machine. Um, it goes into tumbling, which gets to that nice finish. And then 
we go from there and do all your customization, whatever engraving you want, um, whatever colors, all stuff like that. Same deal with the 912, it's a little wider putter head, but same idea, we mount the top side, and we do the back. So, all of our putters are made on this machine here. It's actually the biggest machine in the shop, um, which is pretty cool, but the putters are actually one of the biggest parts that we manufacture here in this building. But just to summarize what Tony said, every putter made here at T-Squared is built start to finish in this factory. So now you got a, a good idea of the history of T-Squared, how the putters are made, uh, these guys have a special surprise. They've literally taken this business to a completely another level, and I'm gonna let them show you uh, what the evolution has been. So guys, I know that, because um, I've been here before, you took T-squared to really another level and created this little entertainment venue. So tell me, both of you, tell me about how and why this is important to T-Squared. So I can start uh, kind of with why T's and Taps is here in the first place. So we're still in the same building. This is the front of uh, the building where all the manufacturing is done. So it's pretty cool. We manufacture the surgical and dental instruments, um, aerospace parts, putters, and we have a bar, some other golf That's lounge. <laughs> All in the same building, which is pretty cool. So T's and Taps started. So I wanted, um, how do I, like a, a fitting studio for the putters. Um, guys were coming in, we're doing fittings on a little like 10 foot mat. So not very impressive at all. And I wanted to make it look nicer, make it more of an experience for the people that were coming in. Um, you know, they're spending a good amount of money on our putters and they're getting a really high quality product. So I wanted to add a high quality experience to that. So we had this space up here, which was originally all corporate offices, um, we, that which were, were vacant, we didn't use them. And one of uh, Buffalo's great storms uh, blessed us with a tree falling through the roof. And so the whole space was destroyed. And we saw that as a perfect opportunity to build out the, um, the fitting room, fitting studio for the putters. But being the golfer that I am, I wanted a golf simulator. And these golf simulators are, are quite expensive. So we needed a way to kind of pay for the golf simulator, I guess. Um, and we already had a kitchen, full function and kitchen in the back. We serve hot meals to all the employees every day. So we were able to incorporate a food menu and then it turned into a bar and then it turned into a second golf simulator. And this is the layout that we currently have, which you guys will see in a moment. And it's doing great and it's a lot of fun to hang out up here for sure. So. Yeah, so a little bit about T's and Taps. We have two full service simulator bays. Um, over here we have our underlit bar, which is very nice. Um, we do golf leagues on uh, some of the nights of the week. Um, our apparel over here. Another thing that I'd like to highlight about our bar is our putter showroom where we actually show off our fantastic product and all of our putter models. Um, so if you take a look in here, we have a variety of our putter models shown off on the walls. Anyone who comes into the bar is free to use and try out any of our putter models and uh, use the simulators as they see fit. All right, so if we go outside, we actually have our outdoor putting green, which is a scaled down replica of number 13 at Augusta. Right now it's a little snowy outside, but as you can see, we got the bunker, we got the creek as you'd see in real life. And anyone who comes into Tees and Taps as a patron can feel free to come out here, putt around, chip, and hang out by the fire pit when the weather is permitted. So word on the street is you've also been using Azuna in your bathrooms, as I can say. Absolutely, it doesn't just smell fresh, it smells Azuna fresh. Azuna is all about supporting small businesses. We love hearing their stories. Our story is unique, their story is unique. Every small business has a struggle and a unique story to it. And that's why I'm really excited that our inaugural one is with uh, good family friends and just good kids who've just created a really cool story that I hope you enjoy. So what we'd like you to do is follow both of us on our socials below, tag and like three people, um, and then you're gonna be entered to win either a $100 gift certificate from either T-Squared or T's and Taps, and a premium whole home kit from Azuna. Thanks for stopping by and follow Azuna on all socials and T-Squared Putters and T-Squared T's and Taps on Facebook and Instagram.